Today, I'm going to be telling you guys whether you should be using V-Sync, G-Sync, or FreeSync when playing Fortnite. We're going to get straight into this, but if I help in any way, if you learn anything today, drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's completely up to you, but it helps way more than you think. And let's just get straight into this. So starting off, I'm going to describe what each one is, what it does, how it works, and then the pros and cons of each one. And then I'll give a, you know, all round conclusion on what you should use based on your system, because it does matter what system you have and also what monitor you have in some cases. Also, so I do say this is for, you know, Fortnite, but it kind of goes for pretty much any game. But we're going to focus on Fortnite more particularly. But firstly, V-Sync, also known as Vertical Sync. Short and simple, what this does is it synchronizes the frame rate of your game. So your FPS with your monitor's refresh rate. So I don't know if you're averaging 72 FPS, it will try and match that with your refresh rate. Now, already this may be sounding bad, but the reason it does this is to prevent screen tearing. I'll try and put a video on screen now of like what screen tearing looks like. It's technically a visual artifact where two frames appear on the screen at the same time and it causes you know this split effect that you can hopefully see right now on screen hopefully my editor has put that on the screen now of course this looks horrible and if you are getting this right here screen tearing it's probably because you're on a lower end system if your monitor is working faster than your pc or vice versa and yeah in this case it's without a doubt you do want to be on vsync but again there are the pros of eliminating screen tearing and it's useful you know if your fps is exceeding your refresh rate on a constant basis so probably primarily in situations where you have a worse monitor than your PC. So you've got really good or decent specs. You're averaging over 100 FPS beyond a 60 Hertz monitor. Now the cons of this, the disadvantages, it can introduce input lag. It's actually, I'm going to leak a little bit here. We haven't went over the other ones, but this is worse than all of them. In terms of input lag, this is worse than all of them. You all have their own you know, disadvantages, benefits, stick around for that. But this is worse than all of them in terms of input lag or input delay. So your response time between your actions and what appears on screen is going to be low. Lower. You're going to be seeing it in at a delayed rate. It's going to give you a competitive disadvantage. It just isn't good. Also, if the FPS then drops below the refresh rate, on the other hand, it will cause stuttering and choppiness, which is, you know, we don't want that. Now, moving on to G-Sync. This is by NVIDIA. So G-Sync is a, it's a particular or specific to NVIDIA. And basically what it does is it dynamically, so proactively, just like on the fly, if, or like actively, I don't know how to explain it. It's like flowingly. I guess that's a good term if you don't know what dynamic means. But it matches the monitor's refresh rate to the GPU's frame rate. Yeah, your GPU has like its own frame rate, basically. Now, this is great because it eliminates screen tearing, kind of like VSync, but it also eliminates input lag with that and stuttering. So it basically makes your game look very, very, very smooth. How it works is it requires a G-Sync compatible monitor as well as an NVIDIA GPU. So this is where I mentioned NVIDIA. You need an NVIDIA GPU and a monitor that supports G-Sync. So usually these monitors are very high end. They are good monitors in general, usually. The pros of this of course excellent tear free smooth gameplay no screen tearing it looks great so you know it's gonna look very buttery smooth and it reduces input lag and stuttering which is the contrary the complete opposite of vsync now the cons of this of course it's limited to nvidia gpus and also g-sync monitors are incredibly expensive usually because they have like specialized hardware like it's not your average monitor but i will say a lot of pros are not using this i think it's because a lot of g-sync monitors do not support an, an incredibly high refresh rate and if they do there's just some kind of limitation between that and it also this is very crucial it requires like a complete setup you've got to have your nvidia control panel settings optimized set up properly to work in sync with your nvidia profile inspector which is kind of just a more advanced in tune version of your nvidia control panel and you also want to make sure the actual onboard monitor settings so on the physical monitor itself are set up in a way where they all kind of work together nicely so you're not actually doing the opposite and you're not actually inducing input lag because that can happen if you do not correctly set up your g-sync monitor and of course if you have bad specs this can also be a problem because usually it's a high-end monitor so if you have a bad pc you don't really want to be using g-sync we will get more into that shortly but free sync now moving on to free sync this is by amd it's similar to g-sync it's like amd's version of g-sync basically so you need an amd gpu you need a free sync compatible monitor and it does the exact same thing it adapts a monitor's refresh rate to the gpu's frame rate and eliminates screen tearing and reduces stuttering issue with this is it actually doesn't do as good of a job at reducing input delay so you will get a minimal amount of input delay but it is there but i guess you can kind of you know justify it because this is actually more cost effective i guess it's cheaper than buying a g-sync monitor and nvidia gpu and also interjecting I i'm actually learning that some freezing monitors work with some nvidia gpus so if the monitor is g-sync compatible it will sometimes work with FreeSync, which is very interesting i didn't know this so now to kind of conclude this to wrap it up i want to give a quick run through of what we spoke about now so i want to give a quick run through of everything 
everything we've mentioned. So V-Sync, very, very briefly, very, very briefly. Benefits, it reduces screen tearing on fixed refresh monitors, and it's useful for games where your frame rate is consistently jumping up and down. The disadvantages of it, increased input lag like crazy, and it's not ideal for games like Fortnite, unless you're averaging below 60 FPS and you, you know, you want to balance things out a bit. G-Sync by NVIDIA eliminates screen tearing and stuttering, and it keeps a smooth gameplay. It's the most premium, well-optimized option, and it's incredibly low input lag compared to V-Sync and even FreeSync. So FreeSync, similar thing, is very much cheaper than G-Sync, provides a smooth gameplay, but you do get maybe more input delay. So yeah, G-Sync is a better option. If you have FreeSync, you can potentially use that. But when will you be using these? This is the key thing. This is the crown of the conclusion. When will you be using any of these? What are the best use cases? And depending on what system and monitor you have, which one do you want to use? Now V-Sync, I recommend this for anyone who has a basic 60 hertz monitor and you cannot afford to upgrade to a higher refresh rate monitor. But my only exception is if you're trying to play competitive Fortnite, I would not recommend this due to the input lag. And this goes for like any competitive title. Honestly, try your very best and try and upgrade that monitor. Now, G-Sync, if you can fully, fully set this up and you have the money you, or maybe already have the monitor and the NVIDIA GPU, you should try it out. Definitely give it a try. People say if you want the best performance for competitive gaming, you should do it. Not many pros are using it or on this wave yet, but definitely give it a try. It is undoubtedly good good for Fortnite players who want smooth visuals without compromising input lag. So, you know, if your refresh rate's getting up there and you have a high-end PC, give it a go. It, it doesn't hurt. And last but not least, FreeSync. Use this. You want to use FreeSync, obviously only if you have an AMD GPU and a compatible FreeSync monitor, because otherwise you'd be probably using G-Sync or none at all. And also if you have any refresh rate. So it's one of those that you can use with any refresh rate, really, any frame rate. But ideally, you know, like mid to kind of high-end systems. It's particularly great for Fortnite players on a budget to a degree who need that smooth performance and minimal input lag, but they can't afford G. It's kind of like, it literally is, if you can't get G-Sync, go with this. Now, with that all being said, that is everything. I will say though, last, last, last thing, I have made a complete full tutorial on how to set up your monitor. And I uploaded it like maybe yesterday at the time this video is made. Go and do that, whether or not you're gonna use any of these syncs, free sync, G-Sync, V-Sync, whatever, you need to actually follow the video. Cause if you don't, if you have never optimized your monitor, you will get the most issues there. Then and this will ever cause you a problem. Like this is the least of your worries right now. So go and do that if you haven't already.